Welcome to DFRSoft's introductory video on how to uh, use DFRSoft, um, an overview of DFRSoft, how to purchase it, and um, how to uh, try our free trial copy. So here we are on the website, and um, the first thing you'll look at is the general overview of all the tools that are in DFRSoft, a lot of value for the money you'll notice. And we have the theory of everything that um, to be successful in uh, reliability and quality and design assurance, you need all the tools at your fingertips. And we certainly have an incredible amount of tools uh, to go through. So let's get uh, to it. As long as we're on the website, let's uh, just quickly talk about purchasing. Um, and uh, so you'll have your purchasing button down here when you click on the purchase and you have your options for this. You have your basic life um, and your also your DFRSoft uh, uh, Plus. This is the 395 version versus your 285 version for the yearly copy. Uh, the plus version, you get free updates for life, uh, and the basic life version, you only get updates for that year, um, as well as uh, you get a little more tool for the money uh, for the 395 version in certain areas that you get that you don't get with the other uh, software. You can also purchase uh, classes down here as well classes are uh, listed right here on the website, um, the uh, two-day courses and the short courses. So let's uh, talk about downloading uh, DFRSoft so we can use it and uh, do an overview. So now I'm going to select a free trial copy. It takes us to our download section and you'll notice that there are is a 32-bit version and a 64-bit version uh, as well as a macro version that you can try. Uh, you can also, uh, get, uh, this is uh, very PC friendly, um, but if you have a Mac, you need to a little more effort and it, it gives you the requirements to do a Mac, Macintosh computer. You have customers that are definitely using this on a Mac. Now, uh, so I'm going to download the 32 version because I know it works on my computer and I'm using, we recommend to use either Explorer or uh, Firefox, but not Google Chrome. Google Chrome is a little more cumbersome. Uh, and has some issues so uh, sometimes so I'm going to use the um, down, I click on the download I'm going to do a save as for my desktop uh, and I'm going to save it to my desktop and it's going to tell me there's one there uh, so I'm going to replace it so there it is on my desktop it's in a zip folder now once you, what you want to do is you want to slide it out of your zip folder and put it onto your desktop because you can't really open it up in the zip folder. Uh, it's going to replace the one that I already have on my desktop. In your case, you won't have one. So now you just double click it and it should open up. You agree to the licensing agreement. The logo shows up. Uh, and then it will tell you that how many days you have left. Uh, it's usually three weeks. Now, if you make a purchase, uh, you can at that time, uh, you, would, you would be, every time you open it up, it gives you the computer ID number. But rather than write it into an email and send it to us, what I want you to do is uh, copy the computer ID by pressing the copy button. And then you'll uh, go over to your email and send us a, uh, an, a um, email. There's our address down here, support at dfrsoft.com. Uh, you just press control V when you're in your email and it'll uh, copy, paste this right into your uh, email. So now let's close this up. Uh, the next thing here is our welcome page. So you see that we have reliability tools, quality, menu, uh, engineering tools, and things like that. So we go over to our menu, we'll hyperlink over there. This is our hyperlink open style menu that's in DFRSoft. And you, you'll see on this page that uh, you have all your tools here. You have your uh, reliability tools, your quality tools, and your engineering tools, and your physics of failure and DFRQ library designed for reliability and quality library. So the other thing you'll notice is that each uh, yellow area is the module and these are the tools within the module and the modules are numbered and they correspond to uh, the tabs down below. It's very Excel uh, like uh, in the application so it looks exactly like Excel. So this is module 5. I can hyperlink over or I can tab over. So this is statistical distribution. So let's start off with some, um, something simple like field returns. So I'll hyperlink to module six. And you can see we're on module six. You can tab over to it. 
and I'll zoom in on uh, field returns. And here we are, uh, field returns is a very simple module. And one thing about uh, DFR Soft, it's incredibly friendly. So you have your pop-up instructions. So if you don't know how to use something, uh, you can just uh, look at your pop-up instructions, or you can click on the video, which is it gives you the video. It's a 10-minute video on field returns. It tells you how to use the module, how to do an analysis. Uh, uh, you can do a Weibull analysis on the data that you're entering. And it will briefly show you, you just put in your number sold, the number that failed, uh, and uh, then you know, to the right uh, is your results. Notice that all the th entries go into green squares in DFR Soft, and once you put it in, it changes color. So uh, um, the results are t to somewhere to the, to the right, usually, uh, or right there. Uh, in this case, the MTA values are provided, and there's some uh, macros, so you can press the button if you wanted to go and do a Weibull analysis. It will sort the data for you. Here's our sorted data, and you can copy uh, the, the sorted data, and you can paste it into uh, SREL plots, which is our Weibull analysis. So let's go over there and say we wanted to do a Weibull analysis of the field data. It already has done an exponential analysis right here, and so we're going to take the data and bring it over to SREL plots. In this case, uh, you won't want to be doing a Weibull analysis unless you feel you only have a few mixed modes. If you have a lot of mixed modes, uh, it's not appropriate really. But let's say we do. So the SREL plots allows you to put in suspensions and failures. And it notice it's already sorted the data for you, so you don't have to put in S and F for field data. Uh, and it, unless you want to override it and put in what you think are the suspensions because DFR Soft uh, does a uh, analysis, um, you might want to uh, correct that if you have corrections that you want to put in that. So uh, you can put that right in. There's two plot routines. I just mentioned that. There's a rel plots and an s rel plots. The rel plots, you don't need your, your suspensions or failures. This is what you have a simple uh, reliability testing. And you can also put in the number of suspensions at the end of test and things like that. We're talking a little bit more on why we're plotting than I would like because people are interested in it. Um, and you get, um, whether you're using s rel plots or regular uh, 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 rel plots, you get all your uh, distributions to the right uh, all at one time. So you can see all your results and you can compare them. Uh, you get your log normal, your exponential, your uh, Weibull analysis, and they're also the right. Plus, if you want to do your mixed modes analysis, which is what we started uh, talking about, you can uh, hyperlink to that. Uh, there's a video on this and it explains how to do um, mixed modes in, Weibull, in um, DFR Soft. And now you notice that uh, DFR Soft has all the tools. So if you say buy Weibull Plus Plus, you get just this tool, uh, the equivalent of this module, uh, where and it's three times, three or four times the price. But in DFR Soft, you can do your field returns, you can do distribution analysis, you can do accelerated testing. So let's go to accelerated testing. You have all your accelerated testing pages right here. You don't have to make another purchase to get it. Uh, you have temperature cycling, vibration, acceleration factors, modified Norris-Landsberg equation, a radius analysis, so you want to get your activation energy, and you can do your test planning uh, right there uh, for chi-squared test planning, uh, environmental profiling if you want to know how to profile, uh, what is your use conditions uh, of that sort. So you might have a different temperature profile. Uh, DFR Soft will collapse that to one temperature for so much time, like 10 years in the field. You have your ability to do that. Um, let's say you're not sure how to do a qual plan. Uh, DFR Soft will do the qual plan for you. Um, qual plan for you so that you can um, enter your environmental uh, as, uh, testing parameters and right to the right of it will give you the process flow card and uh, the actual qual plan so you can conduct your experiment, your testing and do your chi-squared analysis. Also does that for hybrids uh, and assemblies. So now in the area of system reliability, we have items in parallel. We have N of K. Uh, uh, we have your standby and uh, your switching that might be avail uh, of interest to you. We have uh, the reliability block diagram inputs uh, that you can do for your roll-up and stuff like that. In the area of reliability growth, we have uh, a 
very popular is our chi-squared reliability growth. Uh, and if you're doing modular, if you're doing testing in stages, uh, you can uh, assess your uh, device hours and, and roll them up, and your fixed effectiveness uh, factors and uh, estimate your reliability growth and tell your manager what you've achieved. We also have the uh, Duane method for reliability growth with acceleration factors capability. Of course, you can do predictions in DFR soft like uh, 217 predictions, uh, Talcordia predictions, uh, detailed stress, and then uh, little pop-ups tell you what to enter areas and you can change the temperature if you want. In the area of uh, availability and sparing, we have a logistics area where you can enter and figure out your sparing uh, six, uh, prob and probability of sparing success using a binomial distribution. This is our exponential area. We also have an area where you can enter any distribution like exponential WIBO or log normal for each component or part. We also have a lot of quality tools. So uh, if you want to do a design of experiment, uh, we have all your main effects and your results for that, as well as our, our regression analysis so you can make predictions uh, and estimate what, what are your best parameters that may not even be in the experiment that you put in. We have a number of different arrays that you can do this for. In SPC, you can enter your lot sizes and you can look at your uh, control charts uh, right at, in di inside of DFR Soft. Now under engineering tools we have thermal analysis where you can, uh, we have a library of thermal parameters so that you can get your thermal resistances or figure out your CTE mismatches. We have the Engelmeyer solder joint model so you can figure out your BGA cycle life, uh, things of that nature and uh, there's all kinds of help like if you wanted a solder joint height. There's a good video on this in DFR Soft as well. Uh, as detailed instructions. Shock and vibration is another great engineering tool for sign vibration. You can do your mechanical drop shock, ED shaker, uh, heights and of that nature, um, as well as uh, electrodynamic or, or regular drop height, uh, as, well, as well as your power spectral density analysis. Um, and it gives you the shaker uh, displacements and things of that nature. Um, and uh, you have your Steinberg uh, method for PCB boards and uh, vibration fatigue analysis uh, for accelerated testing. And there's certainly a very good tool under corrosion analysis to help you uh, ass assess your corrosion uh, potential for different mat 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 materials. As well as we have a lot of guidelines like ESD information and, gui and how to design a fixture to be ESD free, uh, what are the tools available, what kind of tests that you do for ESD testing. Electrical analysis, you can make conversions in your power to watts, so look at your VSWR, return loss, uh, and things of that nature, fusing currents, uh, wire borne to avoid electromigration, temperature rises, and circuit traces. We have derating guidelines per uh, mill standards, uh, NASA, RAC. So there you have it, an awful lot of tools for the money. We, we believe in the theory of everything for design assurance. To be successful uh, for your product, you really need to have all these tools. One Buying one expensive tool will not get you there. So I hope you uh, be interested in uh, looking into buying uh, DFR Soft and improving your um, capability for doing analysis and having successful products. Thank you.